you a thirty second step we have before the big your question. Minister, this question is been overtaken by events, uh, as you confirmed the REDS allocations yesterday, and I was particularly pleased to welcome the allocation of €100,000 for the Tanyar project in my local village of Ballytor in South Kildare. Uh, funding is in addition uh, to the 25000 allocated for Ballytor earlier in November under the Town and Village Renewal Scheme. This is very positive news for the village and will allow the hard-working Ballytor Tanyar Committee to proceed with their plans to refurbish the Tanyard and make it a focal point for the village. The proposed project will see the Tanyard buildings converted to a theatre performance space, following on from the questions of earlier. Uh, with meeting rooms and toilet and kitchen facilities uh, for a tanyard building that date back to 1801 and which sits at the heart of the village. Minister, you might just, I'd be grateful if you could outline in your response the next steps with the drawdown process for uh, committees such as Ballytor who are anxious to get, now get on working on their projects. Minister, two minutes. Just to say that I, I did, lo I launched the, the call for proposals under the new phase of the Rural Economic Development Zone REDS initiative on the 21st of September this year. And following an assessment of the applications received under this call, as you say, yesterday, the 28th of November, I announced details of 41 successful projects which have been allocated funding of just over 5.3 million in total for REDS projects across the country. And it's interesting uh, when you said that, uh, the, that this uh, uh, project, uh, 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 Ballytor, uh, ta um, uh, Tanyard uh, Development Project uh, in your own area, um, Deputy, uh, first of all got some funding from Town and Village and now it has been able to benefit from an additional hundred, from another 100,000 because I know that it's a project that uh, is very close to your heart. You've spoken to me on a number of occasions about it and uh, it's, uh, it certainly is, uh, you know, it certainly is a very worthwhile project and uh, it uh, encompasses a, a, a whole range of different uh, aspects in terms of um, theatre performance space and uh, Deputy Shorthall had been mentioned previously about the lack of studio space. You, so these type of projects uh, can uh, accommodate that. Uh, I'll get back to Response. And look, look Ballytor is a very good example, Minister, of a rural village that will benefit greatly from the scheme um, and from the funding of the REDS. You know, the Tanyard will become a, and has potential to become a social and economic uh, hub of activity for Ballytor and its rural, rural hinterlands, bringing hopefully employment opportunities in tourism, crafts and retail. And I, I would invite you to come down and visit uh, the site at some stage and hopefully come down and meet with the committee minister because the Tanyard is situ situated in the heart of the village um, and it's a spot in most villages that is occupied by a local church or school uh, and there's neither of these in Ballytor and, and it, it's kind of suffered because of that. Um, look, you know, uh, Ballytor is a village that w used to be thriving with a lot of businesses in it and has seen decline in recent years and, and some challenging demographics there. So. It, it's, it's a key area that needed this type of intervention and um, I, I know look, the Ballytor Tanyard Committee have retained strong links with other community groups in the locality so this project now has the potential to revitalise an entire you, village. I, I would ask the Minister maybe you might just outline again a bit of detail around the, the drawdown um, and how a uh, committee can now move forward. Uh, the one. Uh, um, well, just um, what I've done uh, regarding that REDS programme, I've put the local authorities in funding with the approval of DEEPER. So the local authorities are empowered financially to start the work immediately. And uh, indeed, uh, I, I would say to you to, to contact your, your local authority to ascertain when the work is commencing. But uh, what I'm saying is that the money is available, it's there for them uh, to, to start the work immediately on this, uh, on this project. And uh, I, I would like to think that the, it should be started soon. It was just interesting to see that uh, Ballytor was the first planned Quaker village in either England or Ireland and remains one of the very uh, few in Europe. Uh, I was over in, um, in, in uh, Philadelphia for the, uh, in, for the famine commemorations and uh, one of the Quakers there received uh, a award uh, because of the huge contribution that the Quakers made in terms of famine relief during the famine. So uh, it's interesting to see that this here is, was the first planned Quaker village in, in either England or Ireland. Thank you, Minister. Are you happy with that? Do you want to solicit? Yes, yes, Very good comment. Tourism potential here, Minister, as well. It, it, when you talk about the Quaker and the heritage element to this, um, and the um, Ireland's ancient east is what we have in the east of Ireland now, and I can just see how the likes of Ballytor can nestle right into the heart of that. I would like to acknowledge the role of the officials in Kildare County Council, in particular local area manager Joe Boland, um, and both myself and Councillor Ivan Keighley, the Mayor of Kildare, will continue to work with the Ten Yard Committee, uh, as have local, other local councillors. And um, you know, this is phase one of a larger scale project, and we look forward to working closely uh, with your department to see this money.
money well spent and to show exactly what the Reds can do. Thanks very much. Thank you.